Hello everyone, welcome to Cafe IO. This is the second video in the productivity series and I'm sharing some of the tools that I use to organize my notes, articles, things that I read and you know, a lot of content that I produce. So there's tons of apps on the market. There's a plethora of them. There's different categories of them. There's apps like Obsidian and Roam, which are, you know, directed at people who like to write more or, you know, study more, make some connections. There's task management apps and all sorts of apps. I am not going to talk of any of them. I have probably tried close to 35, 40 different apps. And this app is by far the best. This is not a sponsored video. I'm a paid user of them. In fact, I'm the early user for them. And I have really loved the simplicity and, uh, you know, the this app has really amazed me and has helped me out. So quickly getting started, the app is called Heptabase and uh, it's called, there's the website heptabase.com, right? And what it says is make sense of complex topic and the way the UX is what really sold me on and I'll show the user UX and I'll try to showcase how the app is built and all that. So this has a web app. Sorry, this has a desktop app. I think there's a web version also or yeah, login. You can do that. And then there's an app version which has, you know, everything there. And then it's rated number one on the product hunt. You can do mind maps, which I'll show you quickly. You can generate interactive content. You can do markdown based writing, long form writing. You can do project management and you can, you know, connect to different places like Readwise, which I'll talk about in a minute and so on and so forth. Tons of people use it. I think a lot of early adopters who have been in this space kind of have loved that, but um, I'm just going to go and talk about it quickly. So cool. So this is how the app looks. There's, there's two versions. They kind of really is very frequent updates, which is one of the things which I love. It's it's non-obstructive. They, they, you're, you're not forced to select it. They give you a choice and they, they release short incremental features and they listen to their users big time. So you can go for a dark mode or you can go for a light mode. I'll stick to light mode for this. The settings are minimal. You just have your account settings. You have connections and there's only one connection as of now, which is read wise connect. You can do a backup sync. Uh, you can deactivate cloud sync. I have it enabled. You can also have a local backup, which is something that I keep a part of all my offline copies and stuff like that. I have a habit of that. You can do exports and it does that amazingly well and uh, you can you know upload data from local backup and all that i'll show you subscription pricing there's advanced statuses like you know indexing built i've never needed to reset or anything about it and then that's about that's it there's, there aren't a ton of settings to play with so interactively the way this app works is it gives you a journal mode which is a calendar mode and the the most smallest unit of uh text in this is a card or i would say the core unit is card but uh, you know it can be challenged as well so it gives you this really nice calendar interface you can and the ux is nice like on 16th i had an article on 21st i had an article you can you can always see what you have written because they put a neat blue dot on it and uh, you can do references and all that so this is for journaling so people who do daily writing you can always uh, write that one of the features which i think i wanted is to have cards in here which you can and for example i can just type something okay let's not go to this date let's go to today um talking about at the rate let's say optimization framework so this is a this is a card which will open on the side the ux is so neat right i can continue to write and open something on the side this is really really nice and this is a card which i'll showcase quickly shortly so this is the journal mode or the journal interface. There's, there are, there isn't anything more to it. You continue writing and you can link and make stuff. This is for, you know, daily capturing of daily tasks and stuff. And then there's the most powerful stuff, which I think is the map. This is the mind map, or I would say a super version of a open canvas. This is like a whiteboard and you can have tons of whiteboards. So what I have done is I have created multiple whiteboards as my structure. As I like to, you know, group them by topics because I'm still figuring out what's the best way. There's parameters and stuff like that, which I've talked about in a previous video somewhere here. So let's open software architecture, right? And in software architecture, there's tons of different stuff that I have. You can zoom in and zoom out. 
there's a mind map now this is the map this is a canvas this is a whiteboard inside it you can have tons of element you can have a card you can have a plain text you can have a mind map you can have a journal for example you can have a journal entry here itself i would probably remove it or just right click and remove and you can have a section which is something on the right side you can have a whiteboard which is a nested whiteboard and you can have a link to a whiteboard so that's how it is so this is software architecture for instance so what i have is i have software architecture and this is a card so a card is a unit a piece of unit so there's information here on the left right side like what is software architecture and all about it there's info about it into which whiteboard it is there's tags there's types that you can i can add which is a you know custom tag uh, custom uh, i would say uh, property that you can add uh, so i have created this custom property which is type right it's a property and you can see it in the card if 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 there's a card which is tagged with software architecture and you can show more information etc etc link journals blah 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 you can just collapse it and then i can you know go on in every here and click on this and then it is just nicely you know hover over to that side which is good for making presentations as well now here i have multiple cards grouped as a section so i am talking about different architecture patterns i can take click any of them and open them on the right hand side to read more about it or collapse if i am in a creation mode i can obviously do more stuff which i'll talk about in a second so this is a map view let's probably go to a more nested version so this is a different mind map this couple of more connections and as you can see this is a free flow board right here's a text i can you know make it big make it small and the arrow nicely moves along with it these are individual cards which are color coded differently and as you can see on the right hand side when it opens it opens in white and you can color code it within the map it it retains that you know customization you can have more elements like cards inside cards like nested cards so for example within pattern to the rescue i have something like client server architecture which will just redirect here so this is a section this is a card if i click here it will just move to here and i can again click on this which is edit in split view and it will open that the so split view is really nice the app uh, i think this is good on the uh, i would say a bigger screen if you if you have it and you can make references like this what i love about this you can you know do lot of zooming and zooming out and then there's a very nice feature like you know at all places you can open split view you can open card library and you can you know select any card that you have created so if let's say on a mobile app i created and i learned something new i did a capture online and i i read a nice article and put it in you know using a mobile app and that will come here automatically so all i need to do is just drag and drop to this and make the connection so i have a new relationship which is interesting you can obviously do journal stuff here you can pick drag drop from journal and this is another interesting feature it tracks all of my readwise highlights so readwise is a tool which i used to think across uh, all the books or different forms of places where i read so if i read an article on the web or like a blog post i highlight it using readwise and it goes to my readwise account if i read a book on the kindle i highlight something it goes in the same place so this is a basis basically a very large list of all the books i've read and uh, all the articles that i read and have do highlight so i can quickly search anything like for example architecture here and i see this few highlights here right there's a book pdf inside which i've highlighted and uh, i can just click this and put it here and which which just makes it such an interactive way to generate and draw relationships and content so when you are doing research it's really really helpful So that's the map view, and I think that's where I love. You can you know structure the map view like the way you want. This is the card library. There's uh, there's tons to talk about. You can keep it as granular as you want. For example, I have a simple code which is you know Python code which I keep here, and it does support Markdown inside. It's complete Markdown, so you can do slash command and you can get all the Markdown stuff. You can also just use Markdown shortcuts which work amazingly well. so this is you can keep it for a short form or you can have a you know a longer article something like this where i have written a whole article around it and i have made some book highlights also so 
book highlight even when you are you know doing this activity like you're writing in a card you have uh, the book highlight available to you and you can always add that back within the card if you're trying to drag and drop and add the rate and slash symbol box so you can filter them you know basis what mind maps they come and uh, go to them or something which are pdfs only which is i do a lot so for example the way i'm reading these days is for instance this is a good book uh so i'll 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 show you my book so the way i do i'm doing is right now is so this book this quantitative finance this productivity and each book is a map in itself so inside the map i keep the pdf so for example i use this book so the way i will do is i'll go keep reading on the side i like something drag and put it here and make the connections how they are so this is this is an article about optimization framework and i can use it to uh, you know explicitly talk about it or do it i do that on another channel this is a tag manager which is insanely powerful a lot of people from tana world or uh, you know other apps want to use tags so i haven't explored the depths of tags uh, so i'll talk about it in a limited way but these are all the books that i have uh, and you can basically add a tag you can see it in a kanban view which if you want to do project management would be good you can do a custom property which can be of different type these are you know super tags in tana from for people who are coming from tana and uh, you know you can have, for instance i have assigned assigned a tag for a category and a genre which is algo trading or trading strategy and stuff like that so tags are good you can also group tags which makes it nice for nesting i don't think you should probably need it because at this point i am not seeing any uh you know any real use of the groups maybe uh, if they added more features to groups uh so that you can you know do group based relationships that would be helpful but right now tags are good enough there is an ai assistant uh for instance you know i can ask what is software architecture but honestly i'll prefer mem for this mem is another tool but this kind of searches across my knowledge base cards and do it i have i don't use it a lot i uh, would probably just uh, stick to finding and using search it's very powerful the searches are very powerful highlights this is a section dedicated to read wise highlights so if you ever want to you know for instance i have a book called 48 book laws of power or uh, robert green very famous book this i have highlighted all the laws or i think some 25 laws or whatever so it will be uh, it will showcase it uh, yeah it will showcase it here will showcase it me it on the right hand side of course this is you know movable you can lot of do lot of stuff you can copy content you can add to a whiteboard you can just open this in, uh, open the source itself yeah so it will this is from twitter so it goes to twitter uh but uh, everything is connected by readwise and readwise kind of gives the source also so that helps. and the best part last but not the least probably th- something which is great so every whatever you are working on it retains your you know uh, workspace so i just opened this i opened this i opened this so there's tons of things that i opened anything and everything that i open be it any type it will showcase me there so for example i kind of opened i was doing this building a second brain go to this mind map so this is a mind map which i created for uh, tiago forte's book which is the previous video i did uh, on productivity so this is building a mind map and you know as you can see this, this is very extensively uh, nicely drawn mind and mind map so much so that i have a paid tool for mind mapping uh, i don't use it anymore this has just automatically replaced it because it really gives everything that you read and write in one place also and then at the bottom you have you know command there's tons of shortcuts you can search uh quick find uh, like which is command o or command o or control o yes or uh, it can give you help like getting started you can upload documents you can upload markdown pdf or you can just give give it your entire obsidian folder zip folder and it will import everything i did not wanted to do it because my obsidian has kind of become cluttered uh, so yeah i don't want to do it uh settings i've already talked about uh yeah you can go in nice good uh, full screen mode also if you like which is really good uh there's some navigation buttons on the shortcut you can do mouse trackpad you can change uh i think this is mention link if a card mentions another so if you hover over 
ओके आई वुड फाइंड हियर बट दिस यूजली शो केस इफ अ कार्ड मैंशन अनदर कार्ड इफ यू होवर ओवर इट इट विल गो शो यू एंड ऑब्वियसली जूम इन एंड जूम आउट इज इन फाइन आइट एज यू सेट एज आई सेट सिंपल सेलेक्शन कमांड वन कंट्रोल वन एंड टू फॉर कनेक्शन सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई कैन मेक अ कनेक्शन फ्रॉम हेयर टू हेयर एंड इट ऑटोमेटिकली टू दीज एंड द कनेक्शन आर कस्टमाइजेबल यू कैन चेंज लाइन वेथ यू कैन मेक इट डॉटेड यू कैन चेंज इट फ्रॉम यू नो समथिंग दिस you can make it direction change blah 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 you can change the color everything so it's it's nice it doesn't give you like a thousand options of customization but i think those apps that do that uh, you end up down a rabbit hole of you know different to a large degree of customization so that's why i kind of love this it has really really solved uh, most of my productivity reading writing uh, content creation consumption needs Uh, the only thing which i don't uh, find it to be great here is task management and honestly i'm probably going to rely on to do is to things three uh, which i might look at purchasing for doing a task management or to do management i'm not great at them so this doesn't have like scheduling features recurring features uh, you know taking quick actions and stuff like that so i would probably want that uh, in an app but i think there should be two different apps So yeah that's uh, hepta base for you amazing app uh, if you guys haven't used it do check it out till then akash signing out if you haven't subscribed to my channel why have you not done that please subscribe to me bye bye